Um, when, I, when I learned I had won this award, which was an astonishing moment, I can tell you, um, eventually, within the next day or so, I had discovered on the web a list of past winners. And though I've known some past winners, uh, and indeed count them my friends, I'd never seen a comprehensive list before. So I read down it with a growing uh, alarm at my own unworthiness of being placed in that role. Um, until I got to the very bottom, which surprised me in a wholly new way. Uh, the, uh, I became an English major at the University of Wisconsin, rather to my surprise. I thought I wanted to go into the Foreign Office. But in my sophomore year, I had a year-long survey of English literature from a very distinguished, aristocratic, uh, Jewish, fiercely intellectual woman called Ruth Wallerstein. And I was so bowled over by her presence, by the elegance of her thought, the passion of her love for literature, that it changed my life. At the end of that year, I decided I was going to become a teacher of English literature. I didn't know if that would be on the high school level or maybe college. I think I thought, basically, high school will be fine. Um, so I changed my major. I studied with Ruth Wallerstein again in a couple of more specialized courses. Um, she helped me win a Rhodes Scholarship that got me to England, which also changed my life in some wonderful ways. Um, and when I got to the bottom of that list of past winners of the award, whose name should begin it but Ruth Wallerstein. She won the first Christian Gauze Award ever given in 1951. And as it happened, I started studying with her in 1952. Um, so she was my teacher, became my friend, my mentor, and uh, it means an enormous amount to me that she has uh, somehow at, stands at the bottom of this beautiful column of uh, lovely books and talented people and that I've been invited to take a place there.